Hey everyone, this is Maxim from Element.R and today we are going to learn how to make these amazing block reveal animations. So the first thing you want to do is to head over to the tutorial and here I have uh, the three code snippets for the three version that you've uh, seen already in the video preview. So you will be able to check the snippet that you want. Each one of them have the demo pages uh, that, that you saw already linked. So you can watch them again and choose the, the block that you want. So in this case, uh, the design is from demo tree. So what you would do is simply to copy the code and then you would go in your editor or this design in particular, we add it to the column element. So you would go on the column element under advanced uh, and then motion effects. And then here you would use fade in and then the duration set it to fast and then the animation daily you can use it as you normally would it will work uh, as expected so in this case here I will set it to 900 for this column and then here, the same thing motion effects you will set it to fade in fast and then here I have it to 1600 for the animation daily and then finally this one uh, fade in fast and then 2300. Now you will want of course to add the CSS to your page because we use the exact same animation on these three uh, blocks. You could add it to your post setting or page setting under advanced and custom CSS. Here I will delete what I already had. So eh. And that's a good place if you want it on just a single page. If you want the same animation across your website, then you could add it somewhere more global, uh, either in global CSS, if you, you go here uh, under site settings, global CSS, or just in your customizer or your child team uh, styled CSS. So add, add it uh, anywhere that you see fit. Wherever it's added, if it's loaded on the page, it will work. So, so then you will just want to copy the class name here and give it to your uh, columns and right away you will see it play out. Of course now the daily kind of doesn't work when we just paste in the, the class. It just plays out one time and, and that's it. All right and then uh, let's have a look what it looks like now and we successfully have uh, replicated this. Now of course uh, I provided three code snippets for three different animations, but maybe we should look a little bit at least at how we, we can edit these. So essentially there are two blocks. Let me... All right. So there are two blocks, before and after. The first one is before and then block two is after. So the color of the first block is what you will find here on the background color. So if you want to change the color, of course you most probably will want to. Uh, that's where you will do it. And then the color of block 2 will be right there. And then uh, the rest is a little bit more complex. So you can edit the animation duration here, the timing function of the animation, like this could be ease, for example, instead of Cubic B0. Uh, this is the animation delay. It should stay pretty much as it is. Uh, and this forward should also stay as it is. 100% you can change it to 0% for example and then both will go to the left. So let me see if we can get it to play. So you saw they went to the left two times instead. If we have 100% 100% uh, then it goes to, to the right instead of going to the left. The first one. Now we are in the first one. And the same thing here, if you want block 2 to go to the right instead, you could have this to 100% and then uh, it would they would both go to the right, essentially. So this is a little bit complex. So to make it even easier, I created a helper tool that's uh, completely optional. It allows you to quickly make different versions and see what options work well. The tool is not free, but you can get it for just 9 bucks and uh, it's a great way to support my channel. You will find it in the description down below. 
So that, that's all I have for you today. So thanks for watching and I'll see you very soon. Cheers.